Today is going to be something special. I'm going to give you three exercises that I do with one of my favorite pieces of equipment, but it's likely an uncommon piece of equipment that you're used to either using or you don't even have yet. Coming up. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of That Guy Health. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I have a lot of content that I formulate to try to help you reach your fitness goals. Today, we're going to use one of my most favorite, but probably an uncommon piece of equipment to you all is the BOSU. All right. I'm going to give you three of my favorite type of exercises to do with the BOSU. And if you like the video, I will post another three of my favorite other type of exercises to do and maybe other exercises that I don't do so much, but we can learn together. All right. So the BOSU uh, is probably very uncommon to you all. You may have seen athletes use it. I use it for training a lot of my D1 football players because it attacks stabilization. All right. The BOSU is going to call up on a lot of your stabilizer muscles to be used around your primary movers. And that's where it really shines. Okay. So once you've used the BOSU probably for the first time, you might find yourself a tad bit sore in a different way that you're not accustomed to. Today, we're going to go ahead and go over some upper body muscle groups, lower body, and then the core. I feel that that's only right to give you a good spread of advice, give you a good spread of uh, exercise to do in case you want to use it. So unlike these guys over here, the balls, this is like a half ball. It ain't like it is a half ball with a platform on one side, ball on the other side. So you get the best of both worlds versus just having that. Now, I do do exercises with those where you would assume they might have a flat surface, but they do not. We won't get into that today. So the BOSU here. Now, if you lay the BOSU flat, that's going to be pretty much your regressed way to use the BOSU. A flat, stable surface, all right, with a round top. And with the round top, you can either step up on top of it. You can use the push-ups in this form, in this way. And I will show you each exercise using the round and the flat side so that you can understand the differences and also see the differences. Even in myself using a BOSU, you still should be able to see the, um, the difficulty of using the round side or the flat side. So the first one, let's go ahead and get into it. Push-ups, all right? A push-up, I love push-ups. All body, you don't need equipment, although we're using equipment here. So in the push-up, let's do the regress version first. You will lay your flat side down. This side is also usable, and as you see right here, you have uh, stops or you have feet, and this is to keep the flat surface attached to wherever you are, whether it be a slick surface outside or indoors. This right here will keep the BOSU pretty much mounted. I have not, I've yet to have an issue with that. So using the flat side first, let's do push-ups. I typically want to stay in between my third and fourth ring, okay? So you got one, two, three, four. I'm typically right here, all right? You go any wider than that, you're gonna tip, tend to kind of slide off. So right in here is about where you wanna be. Remember, for a good push-up, elbows need to go along the side, chest slightly over the ball, and we're gonna go here. Now, the good thing about using the BOSU to do push-ups is the fact that it's like running in sand versus running on a solid surface. You're gonna need a little bit more dig because it's going to absorb the power or the energy you're putting in. And you're gonna to need to put a little bit more energy on top of that to get where you wanna go. Cause as you're pushing down, the BOSU's absorbing that and then you'll get a nice rebound and then come up. The other thing is this, it's gonna cause you to use your stabilizer muscles. Nothing's fast and stable here. So that's another good part of that. So now you're gonna really see that kick in once I flip it and we use the round side having the flat surface up. So now that we're here, you can see the BOSU is easily movable. And I will take and use these handles here. And they're not, they're not handles, these are usually grips to pick it up and move it around. But it's a good surface to go ahead, a good point to go ahead and put your hands because you know that your hands should be about even. And in the same spot of the BOSU, come here, get in good form, elbows alongside the body and push up. And as you see, the BOSU wants to slide wherever you try to overcompensate, it's gonna go that way and then you need to correct that using your stabilizer muscles and definitely your core, okay? So those are two push-up formats that you could do the regress and the normal, all right? Now I say this is normal, but this is a higher level of difficulty. 
flat surface, round surface, regret. Start with this surface first. If you never used it, then work your way, try it out, see how you are with the round side down. So now we get into, and you know what, let's go ahead, since we're already down here, let's do the core one. I call them compass planks, all right? And I call them compass planks for the reason I'm about to explain to you. I'll place the Bosu like so, with this being my west, my east, my north, and my south. Now, with this extra particular exercise, it really, it only works with the round side down. So if you're not good at planks just yet, you need to go ahead and start working on your plank form, then move to this. If you're not good at planks, don't come here first, all right? Uh, you're either gonna risk some type of injury or you're gonna find yourself being demoralized and, and unmotivated and that's not what we want. So work with your typical regular planks. You can check out any one of the workout with me videos in the playlist and I work on planks along with core and air and then step up to the BOSU. So what we'll do, like so, grab these handles that they have built in here, recessed areas. We'll get into a good plank, stabilizing the core. Now I'm going to go west and then east, grab your fingers here so you don't slip off. So west, shift. Now I don't want to roll here. This is not really doing anything. I want to try to keep my core centered and I want to press with my hand and lift to go west as deep as I can. Then I will go east as deep as I can. Then I will go north, pushing the Bosu to try to touch that edge and then I will go south and bring the Bosu back toward me, all right? That is what you're doing, and let me tell you, when you travel that compass for a full set, so a full set is going west, east, north, come back down south, center it, go again. That's one set, okay? So one set's gonna look like this. We're gonna go west, we're gonna go east, we're gonna go north then we're going to come down south and then we're going to center that's one what i typically will do 10 of those take a few seconds break 10 more all right that's it on that so we got a push up we got a good core move now let's go to lower body by good fashion squats all right so for the regress version we're going to bring this bosu back flat side down now i would suggest if you get up here and you're, and you're all over the place and you're falling because it's likely to happen, okay? You should go ahead, start doing all body squats. Get your form right in all body squats. And with your form, you want to have your feet about shoulder length apart, maybe just outside the shoulder. You wanna make sure the weight is in your heel. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Then you want to bring your butt down into the hole, keep your chest slightly up. Too many times I see people doing this. That's a cheat. Your body's trying to give you the illusion of getting down, but in actuality, your butt's still higher up and you're just leaning over. It's bad and poor form. So what you wanna do, practice all body squats right here. And I like to tell my clients to bring their hands up because if you bring your hands up and you're in a prayer position and you're looking at your hands versus still looking here, you know because your hands being up is gonna to try to force you to keep your chest up. So, boom, 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 all right? Now, when we get up here, that's gonna change a little bit because it's gonna get difficult. When we flip the round side down, it's definitely gonna change and get more difficult. So, same thing around the push-ups. I like to be on my third, fourth ring, all right? Find that first, step up, Get your foot placement, feel as much as you can in your heel. Now, it's time to rock and roll. Same thing, bring the hands up, butt in the hole, chest up. Like so, boom. Now you can see my feet constantly moving, constantly adjusting, my balance constantly being compromised and attacked by the BOSU. That is where the BOSU shines. If I get into an isometric squat, the shake will begin. Right here, chest up, button the hole. They're constantly working. Might take me a little longer. Deep breath, getting oxygen into the blood to oxygenate the muscles as well. And the stabilizer muscles and the primary movies are being attacked here. And you, can, you should be able to start seeing it 
is my integrity and form is being compromised. This burns, all right? For those who have less muscle development, uh, less equilibrium, you will see them start to shake quite a bit, all right? More so on the round side down. So let's do that. So right here, round side down, flat side up. Keep this in mind, getting up here is going to be challenging. Challenging to the point where you could injure yourself if you're not careful. I would suggest you have something to hold on to first or somebody to anchor you first so that you get up here. Me, I'm a little bit more, I don't wanna say an expert, a little bit more experienced, some good, good amount of muscle development, and my equilibrium is pretty good, all right? What I'm going to do is I just jump up here, all right? I just jump up here, get in place, like so. Once you get good enough, you could do that. Start stationing yourself, and now I'm on the BOSU. Now you can already see things are gonna get difficult. What I'm gonna do is do the squat. Here, I guarantee you, you will see my legs start to shake when I get to isometric. So same form tips. Butt in a hole, legs, shoulder width, maybe just outside, weight in your heel, and chest up. Squat, boom. Squat, now when I come to the top of my squat mice, when I'm contracting, I'm not locking my knees out. Stop locking your knees out when you come to the top. You come down, boom. Come down, boom. Now I'm gonna do an isometric, and I guarantee you, we're gonna rattle and roll here. Isometric, butt in the hole, chest up, and there's the wobble. The BOSU, it's constantly attacking the stabilization. It's constantly firing off the muscle groups to stay stable, to stay up. This is where it really shines. It is a great piece of equipment. Breathe deep, oxygen in the blood, and up through the heel. All right, now when I get off, I preload the BOSU, come up, okay? That's how I get off. You anchor yourself, step off, somebody step down. So listen, this is the BOSU, the half ball. It is an awesome piece of equipment. I love using it. Uh, my D1 players, soccer players, awesome piece of equipment to help them in their sports and in their craft. If you need training or meal plans, head over to the website, I'll put it right there. Pick you one, get started today, whenever you're ready. If you need an eval, eval's on there as well. You can check out one of those, see where you are. Maybe you just need a little bit of advice to push you and you might be fine. If not, we can double back, talk about it, see how to go forward. So listen, I will definitely, if you're interested, leave it in the comments section. I'll do another video of more exercises using this piece of equipment. You might wanna get one yourself. They have a couple of different versions now. I thought about ordering a new one, but I'm the type of person where if it's not broke, I'm not gonna fix it or replace it. So listen, I really appreciate you all. You know what I say about this time. Be safe, let's build together, and peace.